You're listening to the Simplifiers Podcast, where we take topics in business and in life and simplify them. Award-winning event producer and educator, Mary Baird Wilcock, CSCP, will help you break it all down, figure it out, and spark you to do the thing. It's time to simplify. Here's your host, mentor, and undercover superhero, Mary Baird Wilcock. Hello, and welcome to the Simplifiers podcast. Congratulations, you've caught on to what thousands around the world are realizing. When you simplify your work and life, you thrive. And on Fridays, we release a short bonus episode highlighting a super thought of the day. These mini episodes will help you spark new ideas, new ways of thinking, or simply challenge some old beliefs that you might have. And today, I want to talk about how to have a mini digital detox. Earlier this week, I spoke to Arlene Pellicane. She's the co-author of the book, Growing Up Social, and she simplified how to manage screen time with your kids. Well, this conversation got me thinking, maybe it's time for me to reevaluate how much time I'm spending on the phone and on the laptop and watching TV as well. Maybe it's time once again to simplify. So if you're up for the challenge, I'd love for you to have a mini digital detox right alongside me this weekend. Just two days. Don't freak out. It's just 48 hours of unplugging from your devices and reconnecting with yourself. Are you in? Okay, so here's how to take the entire weekend off from your phone and live to tell the tale. Number one create your boundaries. Remember, you guys set the rules for this experiment. So are you shutting off your cell the entire time or simply putting it up on the highest shelf you can possibly find in your house rather than having it in your pocket at all times? Are you leaving your laptop safely locked away in your office instead of bringing it home this weekend? Are you saying no to TV as well or just limiting yourself to maybe one hour of screen time? Bottom line, do what feels right for you. You get to decide. For me, I find that an all or nothing approach is the very best way to tackle it. No phone, no laptop, no TV, no documenting my life on Insta stories, no screens whatsoever. That way, there is no other rules to remember besides nope, 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 no screens whatsoever for 48 hours. Number two, identify your rewards. If the idea of being 100% screen-free gives you the heck no willies, trust me, girl, I hear you. It does for me too. However, here's how to squash that fear. I want you guys to create a list of rewards that you're going to give yourself instead of being on your phone and doing the mindless death scroll. This will be an exhaustive list of experiences, both big and small. These are ones that you find fun, pleasurable, and ones that you can sprinkle into your day throughout the weekend. Things like go for a walk in nature, read a book, drink a cup of tea, meditate, paint, bake some bread, take an afternoon nap, kick a ball, have a spa night with dollar store items, go to an art museum, maybe you sit in a hot tub, hey girl, hey, go on a day trip somewhere that you've wanted to go for a while now but never seem to get around to do it. Get out in the garden. Maybe you spend time with your favorite person in real life. And the list could go on and on. I want you guys to set a seven-minute timer and make a list of at least 30 things that you could do that would be fun, inexpensive, and truly brings you joy this weekend. And then, my friends, I want you to check them off one by one once you do them. And hello, one quick Captain Obvious side note. This is as much for me as it is for you. Resist the urge to document this process by taking selfies all along the way. No need to do that just this weekend. Is it a deal? All right. Number three, I want you to tell your peeps. In a device-driven culture, it seems silly to have to do this, but... You need to inform your family and your inner circle of people of what you're doing before you do it. So tell your parents so they don't freak out and worry if they can't get a hold of you. Tell your partner and your kids that you're trying this experiment for 48 hours and they can join in if they wish. But either way, this is a gift that you're giving yourself and that you need their support and encouragement to help make it happen. And if anybody gives you a hard time, you simply smile, say thank you for your feedback, and don't let it sway you one single bit. Just do the thing. 
And just one final whisper, just for me to you, dear friend, come in closer. If you've been feeling crispy around the edges these days, this may be exactly what you need. This 48-hour experiment is all about slowing your pace way, way down. Remember what life was like when you were a kid and you got outside instead of getting on your phone for entertainment. It's about letting your brain hit the reset button and re-examining the relationship you have with your screens. Is it healthy or not? But remember, you guys, this experiment is not about perfection. So do your best, give yourself grace, and when you start to feel bored or anxious or annoyed that your phone isn't within arm's reach, I want you to take a deep breath and then take the time to journal out your feelings. Ask yourself questions like these. What's coming up in this moment? What am I learning along the way? And what am I going to do differently come Monday? You can do this. I believe in you. It's time to simplify. If this thought of the day inspired you, snap a photo of you doing the thing and send it to me via Instagram, either privately or publicly. Just tag the simplifiers and I'll be your virtual accountability buddy in your quest to simplify your life. Okay, it's time now to feature one of our listeners sharing her top tip of how she's simplifying in her everyday life. Check it out. Hi, thanks for calling the Simplifiers. After the beep, get ready to record your message. Hello, Mary. This is Aubrey Nowiski tuning in from Houston, Texas. And my one tip for how I am simplifying in 2019 is calendar blocking. So I have taken my Google Calendar and I have broken it down into three-hour increments or three-hour blocks. I've named these blocks and I've identified what action items or tasks I will complete within those blocks. So my day looks a little like this. From six to nine is my morning routine. From nine to noon, when I'm at work, it is my desk time, dedicated desk time. Do not mess with me time. (laughs) And then from noon to 1 p.m. is my lunch block. And then 1 to 4 p.m. is my dedicated meetings time. So previously, I used to go from desk to meeting, desk to meeting with no kind of organization. And now having separated those two time blocks, it's helping me be so much more efficient. And then, of course, in the afternoon from 4 to 7 is my afternoon routine and 7 to 10 is my evening routine before I lay down to rest from 10 p.m. all the way till 6 a.m., which is my rest and restoration time block. So hopefully this helps somebody else in 2019 to be more productive. And thanks so much for all that you do with the Simplifiers podcast. Love you very much. End of messages. And hey, if you'd like to be featured in a future episode, simply click over to thesimplifiers.com and send me a voicemail. We've added a fancy little button on our website where you can record a voicemail through your phone or your laptop, and then we can feature you on a future episode. So guys, we want to know what's one tip that's helping you simplify your work or life these days. Hey, maybe it's a new life hack that's working for you or a great book that you're loving these days. Or maybe you've simplified ethical gift giving and if that's the case, you're my type of gal. Just leave us a message and tell us your name, your business name if you own one, what city in the world you're tuning in from, and tell us how you're simplifying. Go to thesimplifiers.com and click on the Send Mary a Voicemail button. Easy peasy, super simple. Thank you guys so much. Also, big thanks to our undercover superheroes at the Simplifiers podcast that help us create these episodes for you each and every week. Susan Marie, our podcast editor. Jeffrey Lynn, our video editor. Janine Yardley, our show notes editor. Leiden Yardley, our director of brilliance. Man Mender Athwal is our blogger. Our advisory board includes Aubrey Nowitzki, who you heard just a little bit ago, Chris Justice, and George Mills. And I'm your host, Mary Baird Wilcock. Thank you so much for listening and telling your peeps about us. As always, friends, keep things simple. Thanks for listening to the Simplifiers podcast. Find the show notes for this episode and all others at thesimplifierspodcast.com. Know someone in your life who needs to simplify? Be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we will see you here next time. As always, keep it simple.